So I'm going to show you how I set up some teams for PE, uh, some different grade level groups for each grade level. And I'm using this app down here in the center of the tray, bottom tray that says Idakio, that blue one. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to open that up, and you'll see that I've got some folders that I already created for each grade level. If I tap on the folder inside each one, I've already set up uh, my three kindergarten teachers with both their A section and their B section because we are on a hybrid schedule so I'll see half the half of the class on an A day and the other half on a B day. So within each of the grade level sections I've already set up all of the uh, the teachers. Um, third grade I've got and we're at fourth grade right now. So what I did is I made a template and to take a quick look at that template kind of what it looks like real quick. At the, across the top, we've got some column headers, this first one in green being first trimester. That's why I labeled it green color. That's the active trimester. Second and third trimester are red. We haven't got there yet, um, but they look the same. We also have skills. If I tapped on skills, you'd see all the different skill-related components, the grade-level outcomes for fourth grade concerning all the different physical skills that we would be teaching throughout a typical year. Um, this yellow tab would be knowledge. This is all the knowledge and understanding of all the different concepts and strategies that uh, are involved in fourth grade, and obviously some behavior expectations as well. So um, that's kind of what my, uh, uh, my grade book looks like. And down the left is where you see this plus sign over here is where you would add students. I don't have any students added in there yet, but I'm going to show you how to make some uh, multiple classes here. So we'll go back to this um, landing page here and I'm gonna take a that template and I'm actually gonna make uh, I'm gonna make a copy of that template so I'm gonna tap on copy I wanna copy all the columns from my template so I can create a new one for a new teacher and you can see at the top it's it's uh, made a copy for me now I wanna edit that copy so I'm gonna tap on the edit tool and I wanna call it I wanna delete that name I'm going to put in one of my uh, fifth grade teachers, Mrs. McDuffie, and we'll say that this is for her A class. We're going to use the school year 2021, and she is all set for her A day. Now I'll simply drag it down and add it to my fourth grade folder. And there we go, now it's in the folder, so when I open that up, I'll have that. Just repeat that process for all the classes that you have, and you're good to go.